What's up, Harley? What do you need, my friend? <laughs> Harley, you've had well over your quota when it comes sweeter. to treats. No. You've had too many treats. No. No means no, Harley. How to get house sitter jobs. Hi, it is Sarah and Cooper from TravelLiveLearn.com and we are currently travelling around the UK and Europe house and pet sitting. Now we've been asked a bunch of questions about how you guys can do this too. So we're going to share our best tips here on how to get your house sitting jobs. Tip number one, make sure you sign up with the house pet sitting site. Now there are quite a few big ones around the world, but the most popular and the one that we're signed up with is called Trusted House Sitters. We'll leave a link for you in the blog below. Just click on it and we'll take you directly to the site. Now step two in this process, once you've found a site that you like, you need to set up your profile, but you need to give yourself time for this. You can't just expect to sign up for a house sitting site one day and start sitting the next day. They'll want to do reference checks, they might want to do a criminal background check, uh, they just want to check to see that you are who you are and all the reputable sites will do this. Now don't forget to include photos and videos on your profile, we've got plenty of other profile tips on our last video that we did, so take a look at our channel on YouTube. Tip number three, be quick to check for sits. Uh, make this a daily practice, be very diligent. We check every day. I'm sure you can understand that if a penthouse house that comes up in Mexico on a beach looking after two Labrador puppies, that's going to be very, very popular. So we make a point of trying to submit applications for house sits within the first 24 to 48 hours. Yep. Tip four, only apply for sits you're comfortable with. So using the Mexico example, um, say they have three huge dogs that you know, need lots of activity each day and you have no experience with dogs, don't apply for something like that because in the end you'll just be uncomfortable and probably not have a great time. So commit to sits that you understand with animals that you like and you get and you'll be sure to have a great time and the animals will be well cared for, which is really the most important part of all of this. Yes, that's a good tip, Sarah. But there are people out there who wouldn't want to stay in a penthouse in Mexico. <laughs> tip number five, in your application form for house sitter jobs, make sure you're open, you're honest, and you communicate clearly and professionally. We look at house sitter jobs like a job application. Yep and always offer a chance for a video or a Skype call. This is a wonderful chance for you to develop the relationship with the homeowners uh, early, and it's a great chance for you to show off your personality. And you get a chance to eat their dogs, yeah. or cat, or horse, or lizard, whatever it may be. Now on the video call, or even just a phone call, again, continue the, um, the tip that Cooper just mentioned. Treat it like an interview, take some questions with you, um, ask about the hit, sit, ask about the house, um, and if there are some blanks that you need filled in from their profile or uh, their ad, don't forget to ask them. So if you need to know about their Wi-Fi, because we, we run a business, um, we need fast Wi-Fi, but we also don't have a car, so we need to know that there's groceries accessible to us. So just ask about things that are relevant for you. And don't be shy. Our homeowners love to get to know you, to find out what your needs are, to make sure you're a perfect fit. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll have plenty more in our series on how to get house sitter jobs and how you can travel the world looking after pets. Because why wouldn't you want to do that? Exactly. Do you want to go for a walk, do you? Hey, there's that lovely hair of yours. There's your little, there's your eye. Hey, there's a beautiful boy. There's a beautiful boy. Wanna go for a walk? We're gonna go for a walk? All right. Oh, you like that, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's the sweet spot, Uncle Cooper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. All right, stop distracting me, and I'll get ready for our little walk. All right? <laughs>